hello and welcome to the video i am doing a flip through of delightful color brain numbers by david woodrofe i believe yes david woodrofe um at the behest of Amby Girl Coloring on Instagram, um, she had asked that I do a flip through of this, and uh, she's from Belgium. She does color by numbers, so I'm going to get right into this. Um, there are solutions on the inside covers, and the uh, title page and the introduction and all that has... Um, actual pictures that you can color. These are either parts of, you know, full pictures that are in the book or repeats, which is fun. But here's some of the solutions of what is in here. There is a good variety of different subject matter. I have done one picture in here which I will show you but I uh, won't get into too much detail until my completed pages at the end of the month so here's the title page and that does have numbers in it so that you can do it next is that on the back of the title page so I'll have to use a water-based marker probably super tips to do these two so they don't bleed through into the other one we've got the other title page which my markers bled through when I was doing the introduction page so I added that background it was just the fish that was on there and I did use the colors that they recommended So there's your first page. Let's zoom in a little bit, maybe you'll be able to tell. There we go. What it is a little bit better. Those are fish, if you can't tell. It's a bunch of interlocking fish. Very MC Escher-ish. So you're doing some Tai Chi, I, I'm thinking. Mosaic. I've been very drawn to sunflowers lately. And if y'all have been watching me for any length of time, you know that I love Starbursts. A little donkey. It's a place not too far from us. It's uh, called Mooville. It's an ice cream place. Dairy, they have other food things, but it's mostly an ice cream place. It's connected to a farm, a dairy farm. And they also, in the warm months, have a petting zoo. It is pretty awesome. And there's uh, mini donkeys. There's mini donkeys there and goats and all kinds of stuff. And you can pet them. It's, it's good fun. And apparently they have people from all over the world that go there. They've got this map inside that has uh, push pins. You can, guests can put a pin from where they are from on the map when they go there. It's pretty cool. They have some amazing flavors of ice cream too. Um, they make all kinds of cool stuff. I haven't been in a while <laughs> trying to uh, not eat so much sugar. It's, it's hard. It is very difficult. But I will say that it is helping with uh, inflammation and achiness to not have all that sugar and processed foods. Tiger lilies. My mom's favorite flower. 
may have to do this one soon for uh, Fourth of July celebration. Hippo. Cow. And most of these aren't too detailed. Some of them are quite detailed, little little tiny nooks and crannies that you gotta get into. So alcohol markers are not the greatest for this. They will bleed into each other. Um, and my Sharpies even bled a little bit, but they are very new. So uh, quite juicy markers. They, I think after I use them a little bit, they won't be quite so apt to bleed. I do really enjoy some Art Nouveau also. I believe that's the cover photo. It is. There's the cover picture. Very colorful. And there's a few patterns. Not, not too many. That are just patterns which I mean I like doing those too I also love to read which I have not been able to do for a while and I just got my bookshelf back full of books it was partially a pantry for a while so the pantry is off of the bookshelf and in an actual designated pantry area now so that's fantastic Getting a salmon. Eagle. I do believe that is a bald eagle. Got my blotter paper in the back. No, we're not to the back yet. There we go. It's the last one there. It is a bald eagle. Another good one for Independence Day. It's a little meerkat. Mandala-ish. I believe this is part of part of that is in the title page. A snake. Landscape. Little kittens. I love me some kittens too. And there's the fish I did. I don't mind doing the same thing more than once. I'll probably do it with a different medium. I also thought about practicing in some of the simpler ones in here uh, with my watercolors. Shark. My neighbor is just deathly afraid of sharks, and she's never even been in the ocean. I find that a little funny. <laughs> Thinking I'm gonna have to use up some of my iridescent paints and glitters and stuff in this one. Birds. Puffin. Koala. And ever, I still may get to this dinosaur here for your ever be day fun hashtag.
We got all my skin tone paint pens for that one. This one's looking pretty intense. the solutions in the back of the book. And this is their color palette. Looks out of the the back cover. Pretty pretty decent color palette, and of course, with anything, you can do it how you want it. You don't have to follow these colors. And I also have my my blotter pages that I cut to size. This book is smaller than a normal book. It's another David Woodworth book. It is quite a bit smaller. They call it their their pocket size. This is just a little bit wider, maybe a half inch wider than a normal normal sized book. So size comparison there for how big this is. They call it pocket little bit bigger than a pocket size book I'd say. So that is Delightful Color by Numbers, David Woodrolf. Um, for Andy Girl Coloring on Instagram, I will tag you in this and uh, make sure that you know that it's up. And for everyone else, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.